Hello, welcome you all to another blog of SS Motors. Today, I have the legend 650cc. It is, I cannot say it is a legend. Maybe it's going to be a legend in the future. But, though it is a very good machine, it hasn't done that much for the people. It doesn't hit the youth that much. Though, it has a really, really impressive uh, feedbacks from the people who bought it. This is a cafe racer from Royal Enfield. People who criticizes Royal Enfield for being calm, for being lazy, for being hearty, they used to say it. That's the answer to them. Okay, Royal Enfield can make a high performance machine. Okay, not every high performance machine is a racing machine. If you, there is a misconception in India, if a bike is fared, you find it is a racing bike. No, it's not a racing bike. A racing bike has a significant character that it goes 0 to 100 within two short seconds but these bikes can't do that but it actually gives you the thrill a very very good thrilling machine for royal enfield once it launched in the global market it doesn't get that that much high sales figure because not everybody loves cafe racer but this is not a machine made for chill is a machine made for racing. Hence, there are so many things which people don't find convenient. Okay, like if you ask me, do you like this machine? For me, no, this bike is not made for me. But there are people, there are people who love this machine. Okay, so what you are getting, you are getting a big parallel twin 650cc engine on this machine. We'll go details into that engine. But before that, let me tell you, you have to pay 4 lakh 8,000 rupees for this beautiful cafe racer if you are deep if you are deep into the love of a cafe racing machine in the modern era there are very few are actually available in india some is from kawasaki 650 those price goes to nearly 9 lakh rupees which gives a 64 bhp and all the mileage is very lesser than 15 km per liter but whereas this bike is half of the price of the kawasaki and all but you are getting a higher mileage maybe 22 or 25 kmpl i say but if you ride driving very badly very badly then also you are getting you will be getting 18 kilometer mileage from this super bike okay though it is 650 cc bike in india we consider them as a super bike maintenance are high yeah obviously the maintenance always will be high for a 650 cc engine because a 650 cc engine has a dual cylinder okay and two pistons which simultaneously hit the cap of the cylinders like this the way I'm, my hands are moving and it had been done a very very fast way that's why 650 cc twin twin doesn't mean two engine twin means two chamber and two cylinder which moves in the, into the chamber very fast obviously how much fast the rpm goes to like 9000 rpm 9000 rpm means the crankshaft moves 9000 times in a minute so let's talk about the engine of this machine 650 cc parallel twin oil cool engine because it has a two chamber hence there are two silencer pipes going around it okay so it looks good once you see in the road it gives you awesome road presence no bike in this in, in india actually can मतलब रॉयल एनफील्ड के अलावा कोई और बाइक इस बाइक को टक्कर दे ही नहीं सकता रोड प्रेजेंस के मामले में नाउ द हाउ मच पावर दिस इंजन प्रोड्यूसेस दिस इंजन प्रोड्यूसेस 47 bhp एट 7000 rpm एंड 55 न्यूटन मीटर ऑफ टॉर्क एट सेम लाइक 6000 और 7000 rpm ओके मींस द मिड रेंज पावर मैन एंड वंस यू गो थर्ड गियर और फोर्थ गियर यू आर you going to get all the power there will be never you will never face an issue of powerlessness okay you just roll the throttle bike is ready to hit 160 km per hour very very easily okay the compression ratio of this machine it has 9.5 is to 1 compression ratio and the bore and stroke i think the stroke is 68.8 mm that means the stroke is not as big as the 350 cc engine of classic or meteor hence you are not getting a dug 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 sound you are getting a very short, very fast tapping sound like drrr, but the sound has bass. Okay. I told you the uh, mileage that it is going to provide you uh, from 18 to 25 depends on how you are going to ride this machine. 
but on top of that you are getting this very 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 beautiful petrol tank man i love this petrol tank design fully made of metal and chrome and on top of there is a black line which is bordered by the golden and what i don't like about this petrol tank i really really appreciate a digit uh, digital i'm always in digital a 3d badging over here uh, royal enfield i don't understand you are paying a full like 8000 rupees why royal enfield not giving a 3d badging over here made out of metal or some plastic classic glossy plastic which which will improve the look of this petrol tank and i'm missing a pad over here hence i'm missing a pad so many people who bought this bike they can also miss these things that's why they do modification okay maybe royal enfield does it intentionally so that we could modify the bike okay so this is the 13 liter petrol tank you are getting over here 13 liter petrol tank and the 20 uh, 260 kilometer minimum range you will be getting on this machine let me tell you uh, once you ride hop on this machine you start riding you cannot ride that long on this machine you have to stop within every 80 or maybe 50 kilometers because the striding position is actually actually very 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 uncomfortable okay on this machine this is the reason this bike doesn't get that much success on the world and indian market okay the front wheel of this machine this is a 457.7 mm front wheel the tire size by 100 by 90 by 18 section of tube tire you are getting man if you want i think you might change it to alloy wheel but tube tire i don't like tube tire i i do always prefer tubeless tire the brakes are bigger brakes you are getting 320 mm of brambo brakes really good you are getting tube uh, i think uh, what is telescope suspension system with a uh, 31 mm of travel maybe in the future royal enfield launch a continental gt or a cafe racer with showa upside down suspension system believe me as it is a very very heavy bike uh, upside down suspension system can help us to control the bike it will be much much easier but this telescope suspension system is really good man it's really good really confident doesn't need that much of maintenance okay now you are getting a clip handle bar which is bended like this not straight one it's it's downward like this and hence you have to bow down once you ride this bike look at my posture see this is how you have to sit the way i sat on my pulsar 180 okay this is the leg position of the bike you are you are tucking in that much once you go on a higher speed people used to go like that Okay, that's a different different thing. We show off karte log road pe, but this is how you sit. But once you ride this machine, uh, you don't feel this weight. I told you, right? It's a two uh, two forty k two fourteen kg weight car weight without fuel. With fuel, it goes to like two hundred and twenty eight kg. You are getting a leg guard over here. If you want, you can change the leg guard. I told you the dimension of the tires and all, and the seats. Seats, are not that comfortable. Not that comfortable like Meteor and the Classic and all. Obviously, it will not be comfortable because it is a cafe racer. Okay. Hence, the pillion seats also. Let me. Yeah. Surprising pillion seats are very. <laughs> pillion seats are comfortable, man. I like that. You are not getting a little light. You are getting a bulb tail light. Let me tell you, right? You are getting indicators which are made of bulb again, not LED. And the hazard option is available. Thanks to Royal Enfield, you give the hazard auction to us. Everything, the Swiss quality of this machine, everything, everything is so, so good. In the rear, you are also getting 457.7 mm wheel, which is, I think, I think it is a bit shorter. No, 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 same size of wheel. Okay. And the rear, you are getting 240 mm of disc brake, which is again vibrant disc brake, which is really, really good. A swing up made out of iron. And this bike is a chain drive machine in India. Every bike is a chain drive machine that's why we don't mention it there are bikes which are driven by belt and bikes driven by crankshaft also i don't know how the feels once they ride but i personally found chain drive machines are the best one over here you are getting a gas operated twin shock absorber suspension system i think it's a six step adjustable suspension system yes one two three four five six yeah six step adjustable suspension system every time i'm told you the suspension system should stay 
bit on a harder side which is really really good and overall design it's pretty neat design there's a no, no such thing just for fun and just for show everything in this bike has been installed for the need jo hai wo zaruri hai isliye is bike pe we would talk about the console meter in the console meter what you get what i really miss in the meteor 350 classic 350 hunter and um other bikes which is a rpm meter i really need that you are getting two basic things a rpm meter and a speedometer and a digital fuel meter and odometer trip meter and all uh, speed the speed indicator which is says 0 to 200 but it doesn't reach 200 km per hour it reaches only 160 and max max it goes to 170 but don't try this on the highway ride safely ride easily because once you go on the highway it's not about only you okay it's about the others who are also riding okay so behave like a gentleman once you are riding on the highway give three short reasons about this machines why should you buy this if you are damn into cafe racing and you love royal enfield this is the reason you buy this machine second reason this beautiful engine the smoothest the clumest the not clumest yeah it's a beast the smoothest 650 cc engine ever you get in this price for like 8000 rupees very very cheap price and obviously on the mileage and the speed this is a very 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 beautiful machine this bike paved the way of other 650 cc is like you are getting 6 Meteor 650 cc, shotgun 650 cc, a classic 650 cc. I uh, in the future you might be getting a Himalayan 650 cc too. Hey, some reasons I need to tell you why should I avoid buying this Continental GT 650 twin. Number one reason it's weight. It's very very heavyweight machine with one with a full tank it goes like two two hundred and thirty kg. It's very hard to handle. Okay, if you are a very skinny guy, don't buy this machine. Okay, but surprising thing, once you go on the highway, you don't feel that weight. Okay, second thing, I'll tell you why should you not buy this machine? The maintenance of this machine is really, really on the higher side. You might have to pay four thousand to six thousand rupees to maintain in a power maintenance, and the parts are also a very, very costly of the six fifty cc engine. That's why it's not for everybody's bike. And the third thing, the mileage, you you're not gonna get a great mileage. in the city if you think you're going to buy this bike and you're going to commute in the city no for you no made for you this bike going to be burden okay if you if you have that mentality okay and uh, only how much it gets it gets 18 km per liter in the city and the highway you will be getting 28 km per liter okay so this is a fun machine this is a, not a daily need machine people buy this machine for the fun that means it's a machine for the rich Boys, for the rich people, if you are earning that high, like two um, lakh rupees per month, and you have other bikes in the garage, you can add this one to increase the show of your garage. Okay, it's a toy. It's a toy. It's a very costly toy. Okay, so do let us know in the comment how do you find this bike. If you find this bike, uh, if you find this video very useful, subscribe to my channel, and do let us know in the comment. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye, Tata.